Hello guys, and welcome to episode 27 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign, playing as the Sisters of Twilight leading the Heralds of Ariel and the Wood Elves to world domination. Previously, we managed to take ourselves Karazakarak with the Sisters of Twilight, and kind of solidified our position around here. We've continued to attack the Ogres. Everything's going pretty well. We've got Oriaruth heading over to help uh, Alariel take care of Sanesh, so that's another thing. And today I guess we'll start by doing that. We'll grab this, we'll do perform better in battle, and that's going to give us ensorcelled blades. We also have Curse of Cannibalism still, so that's interesting. So let's go take Alicia. So they are allied with the Dreadfleet actually, interesting. That's fine. Everyone will join us in attacking Sanesh. We'll take them out, get ourselves a foothold on North 1. Very good. Next up, we can move to Toacha. Take that as well. Let's keep leveling up Oliaruth, who is an absolute beast. We'll get the Weaver of the Winds and Dodon can get the Endless Hunters, just in case any of these count as forest battles. Right, over to Findol. Uh, we're probably going to take Wizard Kalos Palace for ourselves, just so I have a place that can replenish us, because he did take quite a lot of damage from taking that. Uh, we do have Arkan. Probably going to take Sorcerer's Islands back. King Feholm is on his way over. I'm probably just going to go over to the Great Desert of Alabi though and take that unless King what's that? Tolothor takes it from us. Okay. Durthu. Might want to go and take out that camp. I hate the way they leave camps everywhere. It's so annoying. It's going to take us an extra turn to get around here anyway even if I were to use like Underway. So yeah, I'm just going to go and destroy the camp while we're at it. Maybe I can hit Bullrog as well. Or Bugrog. <laughs> okay. Next time we'll hit Scrag in Zaraxil. Uh, Orion leveled up. Okay. Do I want to max this out? I mean, we do have War Dancers. So yeah, we'll max that out. Make those war dancers hard to kill. How can I assist you? All right, and Daith, time for you to help with the ritual of rebirth. This is uh, gonna get pretty crazy. Enemies muster. Enemy force has begun to muster at this location. Enemy forces are mustering at this location. They're actually all over the place, holy moly. So the Ritual of Rebirth has been successfully initiated in Athol Lauren. Once completed, the Great Forest shall be brought back to its legendary splendor and will revitalize the world roots beneath. But take heed, the use of ritual magic in the area has attracted the attention of beastmen who gather nearby to mobilize against the great oak defended at all costs and ensure the ritual is completed. Yeah, I might need to have uh, Durthu come over here and help out because it looks like there is a lot of armies heading our way. We've got these two and then these two. So, yeah, we're going to have to go deal with those. That's going to spawn a uh, turn after next. We'll just go deal with them first. Turn over to Dreyker. And with Dreyker, just get her stronger, increase her weapon strength. And then we'll be heading over to Forjakova. What happened to Azag? Did Azag lose to Kislev? I feel like he got wrecked by Kislev. The only explanation. We've got Arden who can take care. Uh, 
Actually, I'm going to put that one in the tree kin. I don't know what the banner of the Eternal Queen does, but sure. Just take Essen. Get another recruit rank for cavalry units. Head on to Fort Jakova. Take that. Thank you very much. Hard and leveled up. We definitely want to keep going with Ancient Bark. The Vokas leveled up. Go Endurance of the Oak. Make him a little bit more tanky. Wonderful. Okay, is that everything done for movement? It looks like it. Right, let's fix this up. Even though it probably get attacked again. Oh, Hellebron's come over here as well. Interesting. But we also have Luen Leoncourt head in that direction. And also Eckhart Engel. Wait. And... Ah, oh, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> Rapunz de Leonis. I was like, where has she come from? Has she come all the way down here? But no, uh, what's happened here is... Uh, because we have the mod installed that automatically confederates um, the lords into like allied factions. What Koran has basically got Raponce for free because they're dead. That's cool though. I like that. Uh, let's just continue getting that upgraded. Eventually we'll actually use some of the allied recruitment maybe. Actually, I could add some to my new army. Now I think about it. We could add some Molana's army. Because we have a lot of options. <laughs> we can we can hire dwarven units. We can hire like elven units. Like, it would be cool to maybe have some elven units, like uh, high elven units, that is, with our forces. So, like, Alarian, Avalon. Avalon, we can recruit more from. We got Kanakadrin, and then Call of Sigmar. And we can have some. <laughs> Great swords and stuff. The only trouble with recruiting from allied factions is that you don't have any bonuses for their troops. So that is a little bit annoying. Like, Nagarice actually got some pretty nice options. But yeah, we do have some allegiance to spend. Maybe I'll just start recruiting another army near the Oak of Ages. Because we have this place where we can almost get tree treemen, but not quite. Yeah, these are all like level 4 and not level 5. <laughs> now I think about it. Uh, we got two more turns until we can get blade singers. Maybe we wait a little bit. Fence, I think. Okay. Well, let's just uh, double check the buildings a little bit more. We're leaving that space for the special building. Okay, everything's done. Let's double check our quick deals. Last defenders will take a trade agreement, so we'll do that. Alariel's champion. We attain. You here, I will hear we'll take a defensive alliance. Understood. Only good. Your request. What? At your service. Becoming friends with everyone. 
<laughs> this is such an awesome campaign. I'm really, really enjoying it. Right, we probably want to put the building in Lothurn if we can. And all of these, we can actually get Sword Masters of Hoeth from him. And the Frost Heart Phoenix. I actually really like the Frost Heart Phoenix. It's very like tanky Phoenix. Trying to work out the best place to put it. Tower of Lycian, Shrine of Assyrian, or Angarial. I think all of these are part of the Lothern, like Eotain's province, which is why they get the bonuses. So what we'll do, we'll put it on the Shrine of Assyrian. Since the beastmen are near that. That way, maybe Lothern will just kill them off if they attack it. Cool. That is it. Right, let's move on to the next turn. If only we'd hunted you down. Oh, hello, Kairos. Bloodthirst was warranted for once, sister. Huh. Kairos out of nowhere. Kind of annoying, because now they're at war with us, they will switch our settlements. I wonder if they can switch a tree. Oh god, please no. That would be annoying. Like, just give a tree to someone else? Like, would they even work? Like, surely not. Surely they can't do that. <laughs> like, that would actually be the most ridiculous thing ever. Right. Are you actually going to take it this time, Arkan? Yes, you are. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see if uh, Kairos really wants to mess with us. I'll have to go and wipe him out if he starts doing that. I really, really dislike the Sinch faction mechanics when you're up against them. Oh, goodbye Wrecker's Point. And goodbye Konkata. We'll be heading north soon, soon enough. We'll just go and wipe out all these armies and... Take out Norska. Right, Ice Court and Ropsman Clan, that's good. Another faction gone. Uh, Eotain's building in our lands, that's good. Another forest invasion imminent. There's two of them there. And would they attack Kingslade, actually, I wonder? Not oh, sure. But let's start by taking this on. Wow, that's actually a nasty army. But uh, we, we are ambushing them, so that is something. Yeah, those Minotaurs, oof. The best to go ahead, I don't mind too much, because we can just kind of like face them with the wilder rangers. But yeah, those, yeah, those Minotaurs got to go. <laughs> I mean, casualty is technically low. Maybe we just order resolve, actually. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, we'll just sort of resolve it. Because we're going to have time to replenish on the way back anyway. Uh, we'll march into Athel Lawrence so we get extra replenishment. He's now on his stag. That's good. They're actually both on their mounts now. I may have been a little bit cheesy just sort of resolving that, but... Yeah, I don't want to waste too much time. We're going to have plenty of battles to do here. Like, I sort of, when I play these campaigns, I kind of, especially considering it's like a world domination, I kind of have to balance, like, playing out battles and order resolves so that it doesn't take too long, right? Because it could just take forever if I no just mess about and play out every battle. I'd rather make more progress sometimes and that's a good example because we are like I said before gonna have to fight more more of those battles in the future uh let's see let's go for official grounds again I guess makes sense over to Othiode time for you to take Hag Horn. Oh, 
Maybe we come down to Arnheim in the meantime and then walk back up. I think that's too far, isn't it? This is done in three turns, so... Like, best bet is just to go back over here, start recruiting into a new army, and then get the Truman afterwards. I think we'll do that. So we have a Beast Magic Spellweaver. We have... Shadow Magic Spellweaver. I was going to give him another tree, wasn't I? Although I'm not sure what this does. Master of Malevolence. What does it say here? No. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to get Ara. Mm. <laughs> I keep thinking I might want something else. Uh... Let's do a Shadow Magic Spellweaver. Oops. There we go, put a shades right off the bat. Jumper in there. Start local recruiting. We'll give her some zotes, why not? Haven't got many zotes yet. We could global recruit maybe a couple of sisters of thorn. I don't know how long she's I wanna keep her recruiting for though. Let's just do wild ranges for now. Because we are going to basically hand off a lot of these Glade Guard. Well, he does have piercing thorns, doesn't he? So we'll keep a few of them. Oh, no, never mind. That's, uh, that is bonuses for Dryads. I thought it was Bolts of the Forest. Yeah, so that's good. All right. Yeah, we'll just hand off most of these, Glade Guard. Growth and life. Cool. Let's head over to Glamour Weaver Findol. I always get really excited about playing the Wood Elves because like, all of their armies you can just make so unique. Purifair. We'll zoom over to the Great Desert of Alibi. I don't think we're going to be able to take that before they do. It looks like they're just going to take that next turn. I mean, they might sack it and then we can get a chance to just run in there and take it, but we'll see. Uh, I'm actually going to make this into a waystone for the extra casualty replenishment rate because we're going to be fighting around here a lot. Ah, oh, they made another camp. Okay. Well, we want to take out Xerxes while we're here. We can always go back and get it afterwards. Take that order resolve. And he's leveled up once again. Deadly onslaught. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Let's get a foe seeker. We'll give him some health, I think. Over to Oliaruth. We'll go take Toraka. Show them doom. Kind of annoying that they took the Wardens of Sithra from us. Holy shit. That's annoying. We shall lay down. Oh, is Nakari going to be in range? That's a little bit awkward, huh? Moving. Maybe we have to be outside the settlement.
Like we're going to take the attrition, but the reason we'll be outside the settlement is so we can retreat if they attack us. Don't think it'll be in range to hit us twice. But we'll definitely have to retreat to friendly territory, like into Avalon or something, to replenish. This is uh, a little rough actually. I didn't realize Nakari was so close because otherwise I wouldn't have taken that on a resolve. We would have played it out. Um, right, Drykar, you are heading deep into the lands of the Orcs alongside Arden. Okie dokie. Let's get the furs in there. Upgrade the garrison at Grom Peak. Lovely. Still got 10,000 income. This is nuts. As soon as we start declaring war on all of our Strategy. like Beyond. friendly Try people, we're going to lose so much money. Phoenix it's going to be disgusting. Or Gladly. My life. Let your words be true. Let's get these defensive alliances the set up. You may look upon me. I mean, eventually, what's going to happen is princes we're just going to have all of these factions slowly confederate into Eotain anyway, probably. That's not too much of an issue. Speak. Like being friends with them, that is. I mean, we're already at war with pretty much everyone we could be in this area. Like we're at war, war with the Dreadfleet. We're at war with Nagarond. Like we're at war with everyone north of us. <laughs> we're at war with the Kari. Most astute. Like Torev, yes, it looks like it's going to go under the hands of Eotain, So, yeah, we're just like slowly but surely helping take out Nakari. Right, this is where he's come in. We're going to run away. And we'll let him take the settlement. That is fine. Okay, good. Worked out as planned. The ogres are on their last legs. Nice, he attained took another settlement. That's good. Don't need to be watching them though. As the music just randomly disappears, as it does. <laughs> they still haven't fixed that. I don't know if it's just because I've, I'm still on a really old version. But um, yeah, whenever an agent action occurs on the end turn from another faction, it like uh, it just makes the music disappear. Pretty weird. It becomes like deadly silent. Alright, Bone Rattlers can't do anything. Bloody Hands might, but... Yeah, I think most of the people we're up against, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> we have so many allies. Are you sure you want to do this, Valkyrie? Okay. <laughs> sure thing. Just like the order tie, just declaring war on everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ridiculous. This would be such a peaceful campaign if the AI Um that's not good. Um hey, where is she? The what the fuck? Why are you there? Make haste. <laughs> what? Okay, we're gonna have to go back and attack them, obviously, because we need to get rid of the gift of Slanesh. Because otherwise, like, we'll lose them to Slanesh. <laughs> That'd be awkward. Yeah, I completely forgot what I was talking about because of that. 
That's not good. So a gift to Slanesh he is given at any time the army loses the battle or is successfully targeted by a Slanesh hero. So devotee is plus 25 per turn to the faction that provided the gift of Slanesh. Then plus three per turn seductive influence. That's the one we got to worry about. All right, allied outpost lost. That did Sirfen. That's fine. And all these forest invasions imminent towards the Oak of Ages. Okay. All right, Mount Squighorn was taken by Calacadron. So what we're going to do is we'll jump over to Calacadron. Tracing at Othiode. Can head back to the Witchwood now. And we have Findol. Who doesn't need to take the Great Desert because it was taken by Camry. So let's just kill off this army. Take the replenishment. These are dark times. And march back towards Arkhan. We're going to take a little bit of replenish, or sorry, attrition. But in the battle, I reckon we can probably beat Arkhan. I just got to be a little bit careful, make sure I can stay spread out so that we can pick off the cavalry units. Alright, Ryan's good to go. Uh, we can attack Throg. I got stupid. I'm gonna get Morlana out of the way because she is in the way right now and then hopefully we can just go like so and he's in range he is not in range that's annoying I actually have a mission to attack him so that's fine All right meanwhile Rom's coming over a bit annoying because I wanted to go get Maragliano camp we're gonna go and destroy this first I think get violent delights okay over to death who needs to deal with Gua and maybe Carcassum will help us kill them. Proud son of For this turn, though, we'll just stay in King's Glade so we can get a bit of replenishment. I to your request. All right, let's go over to Drykia. Take Karakangor, get us some gold. And Arden can carry on towards Kalak Raziak. And that's all of our armies moved. At Griffinwood, get that maxed out. Don't really know what what, what to put in the last slots here. Do I build this upgrade? Eh, might as well. We have an outpost available at Zavastra or Kappelberg. We'll put it in Zavastra. So it can help out defend against Norska. And that would be pretty much everything done. Let's just jump into Lamacy for a second. Let's grab the Ministry discuss? Alliance. Thank well. you. What would you have of me?
Wonderful. Uh, the other thing we might want to do is just switch over our technology briefly so that we can get one of these amber technologies done. So this is extra ammunition in all armies, which would be really nice, especially for Sister's army. There's casualty replenishment rate when in foreign territory. That is pretty big. Extra missile resistance, even more missile resistance for Dryads, Chikins, and Dreamen. The upkeep reduction is kind of pointless, and so is the construction time. So I don't think we need that one. This one is nice. The reload time reduction for all armies, and also the ability you bury in fusion. Basically bakes all of the Dryads, Trekin, and Treeman poisonous. That would just give us a lot of income. Uh, let's see. Bound spell, Flock of Doom for all ancient Treeman. And then plus five additional forest health for raising heathlands. So I think it's between ammo, casualty replenishment rate in foreign territory, or you bury infusion. Hmm. I think this is just useful. Like being able to replenish while in enemy territory is pretty big. The ammo is also really nice. I think we do this one for now. Because we're going to have more amber soon anyway from completing the one at the Oak of Ages. So we'll have Wisdom of the Ash straight after it, I think. We'll pop that first. Wonderful. Okay, uh, let's just check my office. I can probably... Get one of my new. Yeah, we can put Milana in here. She is a a wild magic user, so she will directly benefit from the plus two uses of transformation of Caden. The Dark Weaver one, however. We don't have a Dark Weaver just yet. So we'll, what I'll probably do actually is maybe I'll, I'll make my next army a Dark Magic um, Spell Weaver. So that we can make her the Dark Weaver. That seems pretty cool. I like these titles though, they're really awesome. Let's go into Forge of Daith. Um... We have three to spend, so might as well spend it. Let's max out Twilight Hell, maybe. Is that passive ability the same? Not sure. We don't really need the Dragon Mask upgrade. The other thing I could do is just like upgrade. Something like the Dragon Pendant. Or even just grab new items. Ooh, the Refined Dreaming Ring upgrade. That's actually pretty big. And what's the upgrade on this? Some of the deep with scouts. Oh, cool. You could also pop one of these. I think what I'm going to do is uh, grab the Dreaming Cloak upgrade. Such masterful handiwork. And then for Death's Blessings. Why do you favor my fool sister? Might grab Eagle's Talon. Because we are going to have a fight down here. And that's going to benefit these a lot in doing damage against the more chunky units that Arkin has. So I'm a little bit worried about that battle. It's going to be hard to micro. But if we have enough damage, it should just be over pretty fast. 
Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Yeah, the other reason I really like playing with the Wood Elves is I just feel like... Oh, this isn't good. Um, I really feel like they are quite well rounded in like the way that you do your turns it's not just fighting 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 there's like we're, we're actually like investing in diplomacy we're like having to make important decisions about like what technologies we have for like the officers thing you know there's so much more depth to this faction than they used to be and it's really good really good fun this could be difficult because of Kairos but if we just focus down Kairos I think we win so yeah let's just go scout terrain it's going to be the tree battle. We can't really afford to lose this tree. That's going to be kind of annoying if we do. Okie dokie. Let's get this set up. Kairos is over on the right hand side. We get 1000 to start with. I mean most of his army is these pink horrors. An exalted pink horrors. Kind of annoying. But I'm pretty sure we outrange them, so what I'm going to do is we'll get like Eternal Guards here and I'm going to just line up like so. I would use this, but the last time I think I put units up here, they kind of got blocked on the line of sight because the cl they can't stand on the edge of the cliff and fire down. Uh, so it's, I think it's better if you just kind of like line them up like this so you can fire over the top. One problem we do have though, we need to hold this. So if we do something like this, I think that's fine. Defenders of Uh, maybe we do the same here. Bows of Athalorin! Ready to fire! Our bows are yours! Knights of the Rin! We'll keep them in the center. Armed and ready! Like maybe I just barricade these or barricade the side. It's going to be very difficult to engage them. Ready for orders. Cuz like the other thing we can do here is like make the traps so that they are less good. Uh actually saying that maybe the base missile damage is a good idea. Yeah, we like to do this. Trying to like work out the best way to do this. Bows of Athelorin. Just to get as many in there as possible. We'll just do that. Ready for orders. I'll have those in front. Keep all of these back. I might put the tree in here as well. War dancers. We'll put war dancers in here, as well as there. Wild wood rangers. And the majority of them are on the left. So I think we'll just kind of deploy the majority of my forces on the left and we can run them down when we need them. Okay. As long as we hold these points on either side, I think we're all good. And I think we'll make the tower on the right first. Yeah, I'm not going to build this. Can I get rid of it? No, I can't. 
That's fine. Alright, speed things up. Kairos has got to go. We're going to focus him down first. Uh, I'm going to put these on guard so I can just right click him. He has a big old shield. Also, what the hell is that? Mm, I actually just realized. Okay. We don't want him to engage my tree can. Because otherwise I won't be able to shoot him. He's spamming spells. That's ridiculous. Let's just keep killing him. I'm gonna wanna run in here, get him engaged. These can spread out their shots. Kairos is dead. Really good. Alright, let's bring some more units forwards here because they've got the chariots on the flank. Alright, we're engaging the chariots, okay. I didn't build the tower, did I? That would be the best place to put it. Let me build this one. Alright, we're going to turn and shoot these. Get rid of those ASAP. On the left, things are going really well. Looks like a lot of the troops that were on the left originally moved to the right, so we're going to have to do the same. Take out those Chaos Knights first though, that is good. And we'll get these to start moving to the right. Actually building this tower is kind of a bad idea if I'm going to lose this point. Which I might end up doing. Get rid of those exalted pink horrors because they hurt. I'm gonna keep pulling back a little bit here. And I'm gonna charge into the pink horrors. That's surely good. Make sure we kill the chaos chariot there. Great. Let's bring them back to the right side. I should have built this tower really, because that's going to get capped. Okay, we don't no. really need like the towers to win this. But what I should probably do is pull back all of this stuff. And 
we're going to want to start shooting that exalted flamer. Bretonian Knights of the Realm actually holding really well. That's not good. Need to keep going there with some of the war dancers. Uh, actually, we probably don't need Shadow's Coil. We want to just go with the normal one. That is fine. Children of Ethel Loren, it shall be done. Archers ready. Wild Wood Rangers, withdraw quickly. Right, we'll build this tower. That definitely makes sense. Definitely want to target the chariots there. We're getting close to winning, which is good. Your orders. Ever ready. Ever ready. Quickly. At once. Eternal guard. Deepwood host. It will be done. Missiles ready. Right, my war dancers here are losing pretty hard. But that's okay. Eternal guard. We are tireless. Your orders? Slowly but surely. Killing the pink horrors. Are the war dancers running all over them? And killing this army of Kairos is actually really good if we manage to pull it off because he's going to lose all of these really high rank units. Like, that's pretty huge. Okay, that <laughs> unit. Okay, God, is suffering. Bowman, ready. But I think we just speed it up now. Like he's dead, they're dead. The deeper scouts just running around in circles, getting everything off. And there we go, Perry victory. Bravo. And when Kairos declared war on us, I really thought it was just going to be like one of those empty threats, like, I know where you live. <laughs> and I didn't expect him to actually come up and attack this tree. But holding him off here is really good, because it gives a lot of our ranged forces experience. So next time he tries us again, we're going to have even better forces. It's going to be great. We'll take replenishment just in case there's another army nearby or something. And uh, yeah, all good. Let's get through this turn. See if uh, Arkan goes to Wizard, Wizard Caliph's palace. If he does take it, then it's probably a good thing because then Findor can just take it back. Okay, he didn't actually take it. Where did he go? <laughs> oh, he's right next to us. And he's in March starts. Weird. Uh, bloody hands coming over. Grom's joined him. Gonna be taking Verdanos back from me. It's fine. We'll come back and deal with him in a moment. Daith is gonna have to probably deal with the armies coming onto the Oak of Ages all by himself. And that's the last settlement in Albion gone. Great. Yeah, everything's all good. Oh yes, good old Imacillus Akshai Chamonleth. <laughs> we got rid of him. This is the Willow's done. Fantastic. Can I offer assistance? 
And invasion begins. More forces on their way. Lots of these annoying uh, beastmen tribes. All right, well, unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. We'll get back on towards the Earthbringer of Fire for our research. And yeah, Daith next turn can take out Gua. We can retreat, get some more replenishment, go again. Gotta be careful because they can, of course, jump over here. Um, although actually saying that, I don't think they can use beast paths in Athaloran. They have to walk through. I think it kind of stops them from doing that. It's just like uh, using our world routes on Ulthuan. Yeah, I think you're not allowed. So maybe we don't have to worry about that. They all have to just keep coming through. And death there. Yeah, we should be fine. All right, that's it. Anyway, for now, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.